Whether I'm greeting familiar faces on Washington Street as I head into church, meeting up with friends downtown for a coffee, doing research at the library, playing at the stadium with my kids, or riding bikes through our Bradford neighborhood, I feel a deep sense of connection with my community. Though I have not always felt that way. Growing up in Haverhill, I did not feel like I belonged here. As a teen activist, I remember trying to change things, only to be met with opposition and discouragement. Yet still I persisted, getting involved where I could, how I could, and working on trying to find my place here in this city. There's been real progress made in this city, yet we still have some work ahead. There's one thing this pandemic has taught us. No one can really survive alone. To pull yourself up by your bootstraps, independent mentality has proven to be a myth. We heard things during the pandemic, like alone, together, and we saw the creation of the One Haverhill Fund. It has been a trying yet inspiring time that has impacted the whole world. Coming out of this global pandemic, some of us are rebuilding, others reinventing, but all of us have been changed. Post pandemic, this community will have to be strategic about not falling back into a tale of two cities. We can be a tale of two cities no more. After the public execution of George Floyd, we saw that Haverhill, a Haverhill that can come together. New Haverhill and old Haverhill stood side by side, young and aging, black and white, Asian and Latinx, gendered and gendered non-conforming, Christians, atheists, Muslims, and agnostic. We stood, one Haverhill, united. Not everyone knows how to bring people together across the lines that divide. Some, in fact, prefer those lines to exist and those barriers to remain. COVID has taught us many things. How to come together even when we physically cannot. That we, as a city, are strong and resilient and that not even a global pandemic will stop or slow the insidious evils of racism, xenophobia, and hate. Hear me when I say, no, nothing was normal about the way things were, and we can never go back to being the same. Folks all over the world are coming into the understanding that while it is our similarities that bring us together, it is our differences that make it worthwhile. Diversity of thought brings about better solutions, and now more than ever, solutions are needed. I am running for city council because I believe that I have the skill, the hands-on experience, the God-given passion for community, the long-term dedication to people, and the proven leadership to help guide the city forward. Haverhill is my home. I belong here, and so do you. Friends, we must move forward. And with your support, we will. This is Haverhill, where we belong.